Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with I'm Alan Partridge, season two, episode four. Never say Alan again. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Oh my god! I love you. That was Norwich-based singer-songwriter Christian Laveau with a self-penned song entitled I Loved You, But You Left Me. <laughs> uh, apparently he can't get a record deal. There's no justice, Christian. Laveau. <laughs> well, it's the bank holiday weekend. A terrible time for the lonely, which I think Christian testifies to on his second track. Yes, lonely, because you left me. <laughs> We're think about -ing. Which celebrity you would like to spend a bank holiday with, and what would you do? Uh, Sue from Paston says she'd like to sit down with some hot pot and red cabbage and watch Chitty Chitty Bang Bang with Sting. And uh, T. Gladden uh, emails to say he'd like to clear out the attic with the lovely Kate Winslet. Okay. Uh, on the line we have, if I'm not mistaken, Roy from Place to St. Edmunds. Roy, hello. Hello. It's bank holiday. What you doing? Who's with ya? I'd like to go round Legoland with Sean Connery, and then afterwards we go for a lovely lamb lunch in the centre of Windsor. Got to say, Roy, I don't think that's Connery's cup and tea. I think Sean would rather do something like wander around the wildfowl park in Pepperstock with a boy scotch. I don't agree. He'd go to Legoland. Boy. Oh. <laughs> the steak. It's Chrissy Hind. Well, they found him. He uh, still had the remote control in his hand. That was moving rabbit classic Bright Eyes. <laughs> Another cheeky chappy who's staring into the abyss of having to spend three days with himself, the insomniac's boyfriend, David Clifton. <laughs> yeah, good evening to you, Alan. Actually, do you know what? Uh, I'm not so sure about that, Alan, because uh, I'm going to be seeing a, a friend of the weekend. Uh oh Johnny Walker or Jack Daniels? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be seeing a friend of the weekend. Johnny Walker or Jack Daniels? <laughs> That's tough, Alan. Marangi. <laughs> I'm going to be I'm going to be seeing Tony Hadley from uh, Spandau Ballet. Rubbish. Oh yeah, I'm actually doing an archery weekend with him. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we both do archery. I'm uh, grade three at the moment. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to get uh, get my grade four there uh, this weekend. You, how do you? How do you? Who, can I? So, uh, what are you doing this weekend then, Alan? I'm uh, watching all the Bond films back to back with my friend Michael. Oh, what the uh, the guy who works at the BP garage? Who works? Okay, there goes uh, Alan Partridge. Uh, license to kill. Time in his caravan by watching videos. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that, good one. Good one. Arrow, yeah, arrows yeah. are deceitful. When a cowboy fires a gun, there's a bang. It's a warning. Gives you a chance to duck. When a cowboy has an arrow fired at him, he hears nothing. <laughs> if he's lucky, it sticks in his hat and he just looks daft. But he said he hears a bang. It gives him a chance to duck. <laughs> All the time you hear that bang, you die for. You're dead. It's 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 over. I don't even think you hear the bang. I don't think you hear the bang. You just dead. And there is a bang, but you don't hear it. More often than not, it sticks in his back, and he dies slumping forward on the horse that rides off with him just on top of it, going like that. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Alan. See you later. Pal. Uh, and also, archers. I hate archers. The archers and Jeffrey Archer. You're all deceitful cowards. <laughs> Realise that only applies to <laughs> Archers and Jeffrey Archer, but not the Archers who, to be fair, are a mixed bag. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, and uh, what are we doing to the planet? Well, uh, it's purple rain. Bang! <laughs> I'm James Bond. Got his right in the neck. But you can't survive that if he doesn't sever the spinal column. Aye. My, I, I wouldn't be able to talk. Yeah, I'd just go. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> hey, I love the gadgets. Pay attention, Bond. Simply remove the top of this pen, jab it in somebody's eyes, smash it in with your hand yeah, like that. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's not a gadget. That's just monstrous use of a biro. Yes. Yes. Oh, well, hey, truck fest. Hey, look, it's coming to lip switch. Whoa, David Saul's gonna be there. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey. Imagine that, eh, hey, my 
driving across the states <laughs> on one of them roads, Route 66, sleeping in motels. I just just got into the shop and buy a gun. Just go into the shop and buy the gun. Drive those lorries. So if you're doing that, you'd just be grabbing photographs of your family. <laughs> or perhaps rosary beads if you're driving up from Mexico. Uh, Mike, do you want to serve this guy? Oh, no, it's all right. He's a friend of all. Oh, all right. The name's Tex. Text? <laughs> no, Tex, like uh, short for Teddy and, uh, you know, like Texas and that. He likes American stuff. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alan likes Jim Bond. Ah, you're a Bond guy, are you? My man's got to be Wayne. Or Wayne Sleep. <laughs> Just the jacket and the boots. No, you know, Wayne, uh, get off your horse and drink your milk. Yeah, yeah, Wayne Sleep. <laughs> Hey, uh, Mike, I'm just going to grab a Dr. Pepper from the cooler. Stick it on me, sir. Yeah, yeah, Michael, I'm just going to get a Ginsters from the fridge. Put it on the slate. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mike, I can't wait to get back to the States. I... Yeah, I used to hang around the States. Where'd you get to? Florida, mainly. Yeah, yeah fortnight in Florida. <laughs> yeah, good days. Oh, I don't know. Walt Disney. I... Now, there's a guy who lived the American dream, built a huge empire. Yeah, I thought he just drew pictures of mice. <laughs> David Attenborough. Yeah. At least he's more honest, yeah. He interviews real mice. <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> he interviews real mice. <laughs> oh, my God. I hit the road. Check you later, Mike. Check you later. <laughs> nice to meet you, Colin. Colin. <laughs> Walt Disney, you know, animals never wore clothes. Uh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Hey. Is that his pickup truck? Mike, he's called it Convoy. Convoy? Mm. Michael, you're hanging around with a man who uses a collective term for a single vehicle. <laughs> Just like some American things. What, like Dr. Pepper? Hi. Tastes like fizzy Benelin. <laughs> hold on, 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 hold on. Don't disrespect Dr. Pepper. That's 23 flavors of greatness in that can. Dr. Pepper is absolutely incredible. Don't come at Dr. Pepper like that. So, uh, how long's like a rhinestone cowboy been coming in here? Well, good 18 months. No, two years. I two years. Did you chat to any other men? <laughs> I include you, uh, four regulars. Michael, what the hell's going on? <laughs> it's just, you know, men who want someone to talk to, you know, just they're just lonely. <laughs> I, 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 look, I cannot not talk to the customers, man. Look, what does it say me badge? Michael, I'm here to help. No, it doesn't, it just says Michael. <laughs> oh, right, Why did you think it said the rest? I don't know. I must have dreamt it. <laughs> so anyway, hey, Bond weekend, me and you. I don't remember inviting you to the Bond weekend. I think what you've Dang. done is you've put two and two together and you've made five. Or as the Americans say, five. Want that pickup? No. <laughs> you don't have to pay for that. Put it on the slate. Oh, I'll eat it. <laughs> Something superior. Said the name's Bond. James Bond. I've never actually watched the James Bond movies. Are they good? I, I hear a lot of great things about them. I don't know why, because any movies I usually hear great things about, I usually check out. You know, I usually end up liking them. Uh, but are they pretty good? Y'all let me know in the comment section. I don't know. If I should just have a James Bond movie watching Marathon, it might be cool to actually watch them. There's plenty of movies that I haven't seen that, that are very popular, that have great ratings, that I need to see. And I guess the Bond movies are one of them. Mission Impossible movies, too. You do 
Yeah, yeah, it's a bank holiday. Well, to come in and do those dodgy floor joists, didn't I? <clears throat> what was that you doing just then? I was, I was just walking to my house. In, in the style of James Bond. <laughs> oh, that's quite good. I think you made a good James Bond. Do you really think so? <laughs> I like that gold finger. That bit where the laser beam's going up his jaffers. <laughs> We should talk more, you know. I've got lots of subjects I'd love to chat about. I used to chat to another bloke about them, but uh, he likes American things now. What do you think of American things? Uh, they're a bit full of themselves. Absolutely, exactly. <laughs> oh, Actually, we could do a Bond film. I could be Bond and you could be my stunt man. Because you've got a good physique. Yeah, but I don't like to get too big, you know. Oh, it's your, your pet muscles you've got to start off with, you know. Yeah. You've got to sort out your pecs, do your bench presses. Yeah, I'm a prod of that. Uh, yeah, very firm, very firm. <laughs> yeah, mine are more or less the same, they're just fractionally more flaccid. <laughs> Apart from that, um, I've just got a smooth chest with a ring of hairs around each nipple. <laughs> a thin line that sort of <clears throat> builds towards the usual place. Dear <laughs> Lord. Bye. Let's sort this timetable out. 9 a.m. Doctor No. Break for a pee. I need at least three minutes to urinate. Seems to take forever these days. <laughs> I never thought when I was in my twenties I'd have to push. Yes. 11:05 from Russia with love. 1:15 Goldfinger. Strawberry Nesquilk. Fish cakes. 3:35 <laughs> Thunderball. Dump. Put question mark. I feel after the fish cakes. How long? 20 minutes. We'll allow for complications. 6.15, you only live twice. Tinner directors. 8.20, diamonds are forever. Put the roast on as soon as you see the moon buggy. You're very brilliant. This is a clever schedule. Thank you. Uh, I love you, in a way. <laughs> be a, a Bond femme fatale with your broken English. You're sexy, but I don't trust you. James Bond doesn't live in the Caribbean. No, but this oh. could very easily be a compact Swiss chalet. <laughs> About to be stormed by 15 bad bastards in boiler suits. Hello. <laughs> don't ever turn around like that, Ali. Don't ever turn... And <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, hey, Lynn, come on. Lynn. No. Well, you quite enjoyed that. <laughs> was that a snub nosed doozy? Yes, I think it was. <laughs> You're in a remarkably cheerful mood, considering it's the first anniversary of your mother's death. Oh my god! He is absolutely terrible! Well, life goes on. Have you finished writing the Bond schedule? Oh, you've made allowances for the visit to my mother's grave. Yes, that's in the schedule. Visit to your mother's grave, then Doctor No. The underground base of an evil genius. And then Doctor No. <laughs> <laughs> if you make him take you to grave, then we will be late for film and all the work we did will be destroyed. Can't you cut one of the less important films? Whoa, 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 Which are the less important Bond films, Lynn? I've got to hear this. One of those Welsh ones. You mean the Timothy Dalton ones? He didn't play it as a Welshman. He didn't say the name's Bond. Jones the Bond. Ven. <laughs> <laughs> Fridays with Gordon. What, the retired policeman who's not a con man? Yes. What, you can have death by chocolate while he rifles through your building society book? Wait, 
spectacles, driving gloves, phone, wallet, keys. Sonia, did you get the pickle any? Yes. Chunky? Yes. Excellent. Let's go to the graveyard. <laughs> Graveyards are so depressing. They remind me of death. <laughs> There's a grave over there that uh, I saw. It's of a man who died in 1872. And he was oh, only wow. three. <laughs> a headstone there. Yeah, that's one of those 80s ones, isn't it? Black granite. A waste, really, because if you slice that three wise from laid it end to end, you'd have the lion's share of the work surface for a pog and pole kitchen. <laughs> in fact, when a lot of these gravestones go missing, I wouldn't be surprised if they ended up as the work surfaces in luxury kitchens. They'd have to turn them upside down, of course, so that, uh, you know, they, it didn't uh, reveal the details of the debt in uh, recessed lettering, which would also collect crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> then, the oh, anniversary. Well, dead mum is always a tough one. But I am up against it with this James bond -athon. So if you could limit your morning to no more than 10 minutes, I'm trying to lighten the mood with the Nazi voice. Well, you don't need to lighten the mood, Alan. I am not down. You've got 10 minutes. Go give it to her. <laughs> <laughs> to that nurse. God rest her racist soul. <laughs> She'd be horrified. I mean, Jesus was from the Middle East. Was he? Jesus wasn't brown. Lynn, let's not have that discussion now. Can I come in? So we don't need our drive tarmacking, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought you were a tinker with tarmac. Sorry. <laughs> nice to meet you. And you. Well, um, there's Lynn. Look after her and make sure she's back here by 10 o'clock. Don't get her pregnant. <laughs> I believe you're quite keen on the Bible. I live by it. I was reading the book of Genesis the other day. I've got to say, that bloody snake. <laughs> you suppose um, you'll be prone to temptation like Adam? I, I think I'd be more preoccupied by the fact that I was encountering a talking snake. <laughs> I think whether I wanted an apple <laughs> would be a side issue for me. <laughs> Even if it wasn't a talking snake, even if it just rolled an apple towards me and sort of went. As a family <coughs> farmed one. Oh, Alan is a trip, bro. Alan Partridge is a trip. Oh. I love these UK TV shows. I really wish I didn't have to watch it on Daily Motion because of these ads. But I uh, absolutely love these UK TV shows, bro. They're fire. They're funny. And I would, I just never would have known about it unless I started reacting to it on this channel. So thank you, guys. I appreciate you. I think I'd still be troubled. After that, I think I'd just um, put some trunks on and uh, sit down on the grass. Well, we'll be off then. Great. Well, I'm glad we're on our own, Alan. I've been, uh, wanting a word with you about Lynn. I don't like the way you treat her. Oh, I think you're a bully. And if you don't start treating her better, I'm going to knock your block off. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the thought. Ah, sorry. I thought you were going to attack me with your finger. <laughs> I know what I'm being lied to, you know. I've spent a lot of my life being lied to. <laughs> with respect, you know, as an ex-police officer, if you hang around with criminals, 
you're going to get lied to. <laughs> <laughs> Think on. Thinking on, I'm thinking on. <laughs> Let Duck, Golden, Raker, Eyes Only, Pussy, Daylight. Naughty Professor 2, The Clumps. <laughs> I got it from 90Ps in a brilliant charity shop called Scope. Scope? Why do they change the name and ruin it? Consignia and Scope. It's the post office and the spastic society. <laughs> oh, <laughs> butter my ass. <laughs> I've just realised we haven't got the spy who loved me. I've just remembered. I lent it to that bloke who used to chat to at the petrol station. Michael. Is that his name? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to go and get it off him. Hello? <laughs> yeah, I reckon I could do a bit of that Bond stuff. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, I don't think society's ready for, uh, for you to kill. <laughs> eee, octopusy. <laughs> Dutch and out. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Listen, I've just cracked open a bottle of Sunny Delight. They're quite big. And, uh, I can't manage a whole one. Fancy a shot? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, I've got to go off to the uh, timber yard. I'll take you. Um, just, uh, yeah, a couple of straws, no problem. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh, stop off at the uh, petrol station on the way. Oh, oh is your Geordie, mate? Well, you've got to ask yourself some serious questions about a man who sits in a petrol station all day talking to other men. Fancy. I'll treat you. Has the Duke of Hazard been in? Uh, no, he's not. Um, I'd like you to return my Spy Who Loved Me video and any other property that you have of mine. But I've got it here. It's, it's at home. Where? In America? That's <laughs> street. This is my friend John. John, don't be shy. Come out. Show, show, me, show me your tool belt. It's interesting, Michael, this, this, this obsession you have with American things, and yet you work for British Petroleum. Yeah. I mean, hello? <laughs> hello? No, it's a thing people say. <laughs> so do you get petrol? No, I'm going to be getting it from across the road from now on. Your petrol's a bit, um, it's, it's, it's a bit obvious, a bit, a bit petroly. <laughs> Come on, John, let's saddle our horses and... Uh, Get ourselves a curly Cumberland sausage from the little bitty chef. <laughs> little, little chef. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, I, I taped that uh, documentary for you, The World's Worst Storms. Hey, there's footage of a tsunami, and it comes in, and it crashes during this village and wipes them all out. Well, programs about storms? Get a life. <laughs> well, John, let's go to Sprouston. <laughs> Oh, oh, hello, Len. What are you doing here? Oh, a wonderful woman like you should be at home relaxing. You asked me to get you a black marker pen. Oh, thanks. Yeah, in fact, um, I'll give you a raise. Eight, eight, eight and a half thousand. Nine, 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 nine and a half. Ten, ten. Tell you what. Tell you what, it's nine and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> tell you what, tell you what, it's nine and a half thousand pounds. Oh, thank you, Alan. Oh, nine and a half thousand a year, bro. It's trash. You can't live. You can't do anything. A year? Jesus. Miss Robinson, are you trying to seduce me? <laughs> Tanya, why don't we get some juice while the men set the world to rights? Hmm? Uh, still watching you, Alan? Yeah, I know, and, and I'm thinking about it in my block that you may knock off. Oh, well, it's much dried now, I'll, so uh, I'll be off. Uh, no, wait, wait, well, um, will you stay and watch a uh, Bond film, please? Oh, I've got, got so much to do. Listen, I have been physically threatened by an ex-fuzz. <laughs> if, if you hang around, I will pay you. I mean, how much is a monkey? 500. How much is a mouse? <laughs> There's no such amount. Ponies, 150. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll give you 200. That's a pony and a bag of hooves. <laughs> Go on. 
Right. I got something to like well, don't for Don't kiss you. me again. <laughs> are done for. They're done for. <laughs> Alan, I, I spilled Sunny Delight all over your James Bond videos. Then you shouldn't worry about it. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll just check that. Yeah, the ruin. <laughs> who loved you and all, 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 all the other stuff. Can we make friends? <laughs> I mean, I know, I know, I know, you know, I know, I, mean, I, I, I said all I, that stuff. Don't know, yeah, I know. <laughs> Come on, let's go, what's the spy on me? Oh, uh, um, it's a bit difficult, cos, um, I've got... God damn. We're day. just going to drive around and blow the horn. Michael, you could have blown the horn in my Lexus. <laughs> to do his arse. You could have sat in the passenger seat and reached across. <laughs> it's not on the end of a stalk, it's on the central steering wheel, boss, behind the airbag. Uh, well, you see, it's, it's a precision engineering, eh? It's like what you always say. It's the Japanese Mercedes, eh? God, I've messed you. <laughs> <laughs> I've messed you and all, man. You know, I really... Oh, man, just... Down. I, I'm, I'm down, but, 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 but I'm not a hoe. <laughs> Do you know there's a load of frosties on your step? Yes, I've just been destroying my cereals. Uh, I'm down, but I'm not a hoe. When you say. Dang. I know Alan was so hurt when all that juice went into the movies. Aw. Uh, I'd have killed her. I had to kill Warden to do that. And so be it, Mr. Warden. You got to go too, because the whole marathon just absolutely ruined. Ruined. <laughs> got a problem with that? <laughs> You're welcome to come and watch The Spy Who Loved Me with us. Well, thanks very much, but uh, me and Mike are getting off to the uh, truck fest. You know, we better there. Uh... He's staying with me. <laughs> <laughs> we can see that Skate Ness. Timmy, well, it's going to be the. I mean, it won't be as good, but. <laughs> All right. Oh, great. Fine. Fantastic. Okay. Well, thanks very much. Let's watch the spy. You'll love me. <laughs> Stop talking about American things and let's watch the best film ever made. Welcome to America's Strongest Man, where the toughest, mightiest titan. Have you taken over the spy who loved me with America's Strongest Man? No, I haven't. Uh -oh. Terry, I'll give him the tip. He's done it. It's his fault. Sorry, I, 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 I really wanted to see America's Strongest Man. Well, now you've got Norfolk's Maddest Man. <laughs> I want to watch Roger Moore necking with Fiona Fullerton. But instead I have to watch a giant Michael Bolton look-alike in a tight vest throwing an oven over bales of hay. The Spy Who Loved Me is a brilliant <clears throat> film. It began in forest in Germany. It's Austria. Austria! <laughs> Where the laser beam goes up his chest. Joel Finger! <laughs> What's the one with the, the with the volcano and it splits up and a big rocket comes out, there's all chinkies jump, jump, and do it? It's not a thunderbolt. 
No, no, st no, stop getting Bond wrong! <laughs> they about to drive Alan mad, bro. They about to drive him mad. We all do that with your fingers around your eye. I'm Roger Moore. <laughs> Bang! Blood dribbles down. We're on a submarine. Two sailors sit down and have a game of chess. And the cups start wobbling, and then a man who used to be in the Eden line comes in and goes, Why are the cups wobbling? What's going on? And then he's getting yeah, stopped doing that now. And then he pulls down the periscope thing, looks through it, and goes, Oh my god, the submarine's being eaten by a giant tanker. And then we cut to Moscow, and there's a man there, and he's Russian, he's got eyebrows, you know. And he's on the phone going, What, a whole submarine? You're joking! I'm gonna have to tell some other Russian. See ya! Right, and, then, and then it cuts to James Roger Moore, and uh, yes, he's with a lady. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's necking with her. Right, and he goes, I've got to go, love. Something's come up. Uh, he, uh, yeah. he means his cock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Jesus. He puts on his underpants and his ski suits and he gets on his skis and he starts skiing and he's being chased by these Russian shits in black jumpsuits with lemon piping. And, uh, and he's just skiing along like that and, and they start shooting at him and he goes, all right, I've had enough of that, just stop it! And he, and he turns around this gun and then he does a backward somersault off this ramp and he lands on his feet. Uh, I'm not sure why, but he's not showing off. And, and, then he, and then he goes over a cliff and he's falling and you think, oh God, James Bond's going to die, he's going to die! But then, at the last minute... He pulls a ripcord, right, and a, a parachute comes out, and it's got a union jack Michael! on it. Michael! Michael! <laughs> 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 that's not the end! That's not the end of the beginning! The end of the beginning goes like this. Glang! Glang a lang a lang a lang a lang a lang. Glang a lang a lang a lang a lang. Nobody does it better. And I'm a naked woman in silhouette with a gun, spinning round. Makes me feel sad for the rest. Nobody does it. Oh, bit of nipple. Let's go dance, you. Baby, you're the best. Da, 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 da. And now, really big bounce right over. And I land on my feet. Da, 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 da. I wasn't looking. Somehow you found me. Uh, oh, bit of bush. Uh, <laughs> from your love life. And a woman swinging on a luger, a giant luger. Ooh, look at that. Uh, like heaven above me. And now, another naked woman walking along the top of a gun. Completely Billy Bollocks. Uh, that's why you love me. Just keeping all my secrets safe tonight, and then one more big swing from a woman. Legs go right apart. Oh, what was that? Too late. <laughs> not as good as you, baby. You're the best. Yes, brilliant. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to hear some more? Welcome to America's strongest man. That's how we got it. If you guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy, you do. Um.